good morning very good morning everyone uh, see now we we'll start the conduction heat transfer okay the general heat conduction you can see up till now we have seen the fourier's law right fourier's law of heat conduction but uh, that law is not uh, uh, it's it's that uh, that that law is certain assumptions under that that law is derived okay it's experimental Basically. but in general heat conduction equation okay we are uh, relaxing from that one dimensional that is a uh, heat flow in only one direction in case of fourier's law but here in general heat conduction equation the heat will flow in all three directions okay so this concept we need to study first we will see in the cartesian coordinate in the next class we will see cylindrical coordinate and the next um, again next class we will see in spherical coordinate systems okay like this the sequence will follow and the conduction that is what the steady st uh, see the assumption here st this is a steady state heat conduction it's not unsteady okay that thing also we will discuss uh, so uh, before starting the class i would like to request you guys please hit the like button share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel okay we will continue now to, uh, to the today's session yes now let me put see uh, uh, see the Fourier's law we have seen for here conduction right for Newton's law of cooling you have seen convection and Stefan Boltzmann law for radiation heat transfer this also we have seen the thermal resistance in our last class now we will see the conduction heat transfer right conduction let me put the heading conduction Conduction heat transfer. Okay, the first see in the conduction heat transfer. Okay, in the today's class we will see this. That is uh, plane wall slab, plane wall or slab. Means see it is as it is a plane wall. Then as it comes a general heat conduction equation. General heat conduction, heat conduction equation. I will write in full form, okay. Short form is very difficult to understand later. What is this? General heat conduction. In Cartesian conduction equation in Cartesian coordinates. Cartesian coordinate. Right. The second we will see that is cylindrical. Cylindrical. Okay. In the cylindric, see in the plane means it is a wall or slab. In similarly, in the cylindrical, it may be solid. Solid or a hollow. Solid or hollow cylinder. Okay, this is a cylindrical coordinate. Cylindrical coordinate. And the third will see spherical. In the spherical, we see again the solid or hollow spherical. And this we have to discuss in spherical coordinate system. Spherical coordinate. Okay, in the today's class, we will cover this and the next coming class and the second class and this will be in the third class. Okay. We will see one by one in the today's class we will cover this that is <coughs> heat transfer heat conduction equation in cartesian coordinate <coughs> now see first we will see
Fourier law of heat conduction, right? See, now what are the assumptions we have taken in Fourier law of heat conduction? <coughs> Fourier. See now what we are seeing. Why I am taking writing in Fourier's because we are seeing uh, even though we have Fourier's law of heat conduction, then again uh, the general heat what the requirement of the general heat conduction equation that's we are looking here, right? Fourier law of <coughs> heat conduction. Fourier law of heat conduction, right? So. See, uh, the, uh, see, there are number of assumptions, right? Number of assumptions in Fourier's law of heat uh, uh, Fourier's law of heat conduction, right? Which are those assumptions? The first is <coughs> that is the first of the material is homogeneous, uh, homogeneous, and isotropic, right? Isotropic. This is the first assumption. The second assumption is 1D heat flow, okay, right? Uh, the heat flow is only one direction, right? Uh, the third assumption is there is no internal heat generation, right? There is no internal heat generation. Fourth assumption is there is steady state, steady state, okay? State. These are the assumptions, right? So this one day assumptions, okay? We are relaxing these assumptions in general heat conduction equation, right? See in the general general heat conduction equation. Okay, we are relaxing from these assumptions, right? That is one D. Here in the general heat conduction, okay, uh, we have uh, the three D heat conduction also. Okay, three D then three direction heat. Conduction, how it will take space that we will discuss, right? So, this is the you understood now why I have make this slide. Okay, now the, our objective is right. What our objective you see in the throughout heat mechanism, we have only two objectives. Okay, the first we have to find the, the temperature variation, right? The first is temperature, temperature variation. And this temperature variation that is that is temperature variation with respect to space and time both right space and time with respect to and the second is a rate of rate of conduction rate of conduction heat transfer heat transfer right means see the rate of conduction of heat transfer means we have to find out this q dot right the rate means it's a power in terms of okay the conduction unit heat transfer we have to finding out in terms of a kilowatt right that is a power right these are the two assumptions okay in the throughout heat transfer means we have to find out the temperature variations then once you got this temperature variations then you can see this q induction uh, q conduction see what the, the, see up to now what we have seen that is q conduction right which is equal to the uh, delta t divided by the rth right this thing we have seen also we have discussed this thing also right and this thing also we have discussed in the heat transfer we have to find out this temperature variation and the q conduction this thing we have to study in the heat transfer the main or objective in the heat transfer now the Fourier law of heat conduction have certain right limitations. <coughs> that thing we have seen. So the Fourier's law because of because I think I have not made correctly. Let me ah, like this. Right, Fourier's Fourier's law of heat conduction. Uh, 
have <coughs> have certain assumptions or certain limitations right instead of assumptions certain limitations limitations right about 1d there that thing we have discussed so what so that's why we required so so we require so we need of general heat conduction equation right general general heat conduction equation okay so uh, now write down okay now we'll start our today's topic right uh, the what that is general heat conduction equation in cartesian coordinate general put the heading put the star to this and then put the heading general heat conduction equation heat conduction conduction equation in cartesian coordinate right general heat conduction equation in cartesian coordinate okay see first i will take on the element okay from the plane slab wall and i'll write down the energy balance equation in this energy means the heat right nothing else so let me uh, let me check whether okay no i cannot do like this right so instead of this what i will do this i'll take this like this then the one more so the element i have considered like this okay so this is my cubical element okay in order to have a study okay and this is my the y direction in this this is x direction and this is the z direction okay like this i have this is y this is x direction and this is z direction okay see now in this cubical element right so the energy uh, see the qv this is a, the direction right so the dx will be this is my dx right this is dx in this direction okay the elemental length the dy will be this from this point to okay this will be the dy and the g dz now in this direction that is a dz right from this to this direction okay this is my dz you understood dx dy this this is the element i have taken now the energy in right in this the energy in and energy out in x direction so energy in in x direction okay there are rather i will call it the rate of energy okay in the point i will put and the energy out energy out energy dot out in x direction this is right similarly here the energy in in the other two directions let me okay see in the y direction right this is the x now in the y direction this is the energy energy in right energy in or a rate energy rate in to the energy going out okay the energy out 
in y direction similarly here for the z direction right so in the z direction see in the z direction the energy is in here in this direction energy in in z direction energy out energy out in z direction you got now i am right you see the if i ask you a question that is what is what will be the volume of this cubical element which i am considered okay so uh, the volume will be so the dv the dv that is the volume that is the dv is equal to here that is dx dy and dz right this is the volume of you see the dv this is a small elemental volume okay small see from the plane wall i have cut at this okay this uh, cubical element i have considered right for a small a small elemental volume small elemental volume right now see uh, one more thing i need to consider here there there will be the possibility of internal energy generation also right and the energy stored also right these the, the, the three things energy stored and energy may generate or energy may store right so the eg eg will be a rate of heat generated rate of heat generated and the es will be rate of heat stored heat stored right okay you understood this uh, now you know from the first law of conservation right from from first law or uh, sorry from law of conservation right from law of conservation of energy conservation of energy what i can tell from law of conservation of energy that the energy is neither created nor be destroyed it will convert from one form to another form right so the energy in here the energy in plus energy generated in the red form right which is equal to energy out plus energy stored okay so the energy out i will take the energy in minus energy out this is again in red form plus eg plus eg that is energy generated rate of energy generated okay which is equal to es that is energy stored okay so see now this energy in means all these three direction i need to consider here so this i will write in an exponent form in all three direction that is energy in minus energy out everything is in red form okay which is plus in x direction plus similarly here energy in minus energy out in y direction plus energy in minus energy out right in z direction plus eg right that is what the energy generated which is equal to right the energy stored okay this is i'll call this equation as this is my equation a okay this is the equation okay, so i'll put it in a
okay now we will see the energy in x direction right in x direction we will see x direction energy balance means if we talk about the exchange that is energy in minus energy out okay which is in red form so i am putting dot on the head of e right in x direction okay this thing we all need to find out right so the what the energy in in x direction the rate of energy in x which is equal to the q conduction right this is qx and what the energy out in x direction uh, the out will be q dot x plus dx right so how i can write this x plus dx that is qx from the according to taylor series right uh, del x del q dot right del q dot in x direction divided by del x into dx right this is from how it, this comes from taylor series of expansion right so this you, you know see here uh, <coughs> see this suppose this is i have taken a, uh, okay this is a, my slab okay where here the energy right here the q dot energy coming in and energy is going out here that is q dot x and q dot x plus dx right okay so so the q x plus dx i can write this now energy in and energy out see here how i, I will write this so the energy in the difference i will i am finding out right what we required in our formula of energy balance that is energy in energy out in x direction which is equal to the right here q dot x minus q dot x minus del q dot x divided by del x into dx right see here this uh, two term will get cancelled now i will got that is minus del q x dot divided by del x into dx right this thing i will get now we already seen that is our uh, q q dot x right this thing we have seen from the Fourier's law what is that that is the minus kx right for the small elemental i am writing dt by dx this thing we have seen right so what the area of that small element see in the x direction right the area is uh, divided so here i can write it minus k in x direction the, what the da is in x direction which is not the area which is normal to the direction of the heat flow that is dy and dz into dt by dx right like this i can write have you got this okay so from this okay the what the energy in and energy out in x direction i will get see uh, this <sighs> So this Q, okay, what comes from the Fourier's law, okay, I'll insert in this here, in this equation, right? So on this Q dot X, this Q, okay, the whatever the formula we have derived, I'll insert in this. So then I'll get, see, if I insert in that, so I'll get here, that is D minus D by, oh, D by DX, right, in bracket, right it is again it is minus k that is the thermal conductivity in x direction into the area that is dy dz dy dz and do t by do x into dx right so see the minus minus sign will get cancelled here let me write down it in here so I will get the final that is energy in minus energy out, right? So that is do x dx, right? K in x direction dt by do t by do x into the dv, right? The dv volume get. So the energy balance that is energy in 
energy out which is in x direction which is equal to dou y dou x kx okay dou t by dou x into dv and this is my first equation okay from the energy balance i will get one equation so let me put in a bracket this is my first equation okay now <clears throat> now similarly see similarly i can write in y direction also right how i will get that is energy in minus energy out right in y direction which is equal to that is dy d in y direction right here now now the thermal conductivity also in y direction dou t by dou y into the volume is same here also right this is my second equation similarly i will write down this equation in z also that is energy in energy out in z direction which is equal to dou by dou z k z dou t by dou z and dv this is my third equation okay i got now this is how i got these three equations now these three values what i will do i will put this from okay the energy conservation equation now there is one more term that is eg that is the rate of internal heat generation is also here right see now in this equation energy equation see which what we have derived in this equation right so we have find out this thing this thing and this thing right now we'll see this rate of heat generation right that is rate of internal heat generation okay how much it will come that thing also we'll see here now this thing now we are able to find okay you under you are are you getting are you following me what have we have done this up till now this three we have done now we'll see this and the and later we'll see the this after seeing this that is rate of internal heat generation okay then we'll see this term so now the eg we will see that is eg eg is rate of internal rate of internal heat generation okay see Uh, the rate of internal heat generation is a volumetric phenomena right this is very important point rate of heat generation rate of heat generation or internal heat generation is volumetric phenomena volumetric phenomenon it is a volumetric phenomenon right <clears throat> so now the q <clears throat> now <clears throat> now the q dot the generation right <clears throat> so i can write this q dot generation as rate of volumetric heat generation rate of <coughs> volumetric heat generation okay so see the, the unit for this will be see uh, just we are dividing this q dot right, sorry <clears throat> this whatever the energy right that is also q dot we are dividing it by uh, this <clears throat> volume term so the unit will be that is watt per meter cube right so means the q dot okay divided by the volume you understood this is what this means it's a volumetric phenomenon so and this will be the q dot g you understood this is what the heat <coughs> generation 
so i can write see i can write this eg <coughs> that is the energy gener the heat generation right which is equal to that is q dot g into volume which is equal to q dot g into dv for small element i can write like this so this is this will be my fourth okay equation and now we will see the energy stored right see the fourth equation we have seen up till now these are the three equations right one two three this will be the fourth equation let me put it in a bracket so that uh, we can able to highlight that right so this is my fourth equation so now the, the, the see in the general equation uh, the uh, we have to take the energy stored now we will see that is e dot stored which is equal to right e dot stored is the rate of energy this is the rate of heat energy stored heat energy stored <coughs> see the, from the thermodynamics we will already seen the energy stored means right what i can write this this is what the rate of rate of in increase right or rate of change right rate of increase rate of change of internal energy right internal energy right that is u term you know right this u term what is the change that is a du we are discussing here energy stored means right so the change in the internal energy that is a du how i can write this du the du which is equal to right the m into c into dt right this is the d2 now the rate of change of this then i can write that is du by d tau okay the tau it is a time rate for the tau this tau is okay not shear stress okay it's a uh, a time rate okay so it is m c into dt by d tau right like this the rate of change of internal energy i can write so see what the m i can write c uh, m is uh, rho times the dv into c into dt sorry for in, in only one direction i can write down it in do, do forms right do t by do tau so this also you will correct that is do okay this is correct not problem okay this is do t it is in x direction right uh, so now uh, the es right that is energy stored this is what the energy stored right the du by dt in the rate form so in the rate of energy stored that is es right es dot which is equal to rho dv into c into do t by uh, sorry do t by do tau and this is my fifth equation so see we in the in the main equation we got everything right we are able to find all the parameters which are required right so we will put that equation i will take down that main equation okay so from equation are you guys understanding what i am telling you okay it is a very simple right from equation from from equation one Two, three, four, five, and equation A. Okay, I will. This all what we are find out in in this all equations we will put in this equation A. So what the equation A is? First, I will write down the equation A is that is uh, equation A. I will change the color that is energy in minus energy out in the red form okay in x direction plus energy in minus energy out 
in y direction in the right form plus energy in minus energy out in z direction which is plus eg which is equal to energy stored right this is my equation a so i whatever the equation now we have find out the equation from the equation one what i will get that is dou i'll change the color in LD. okay see the dou by dou x right kx dou t by dou x dv plus similarly dou tau by dou y ky dou t by dou y dv plus dou by dou, dou by dou z not dou it's a dou z k z dou t dou t by dou z right dou t by dou z into dv plus the heat generation right q g uh, q g into dv which is equal to energy stored that is rho c dou t by dou tau dv right see here the dou v is common here i will cancel from all the dou v is right so it will get cancelled so the finally i will get the general heat conduction equation that is okay i'll write down it in a different color so that see uh, dou by dou x dou by dou x kx dou t by dou, dou t by dou x plus dou by dou y ky dou t by dou y right plus dou by dou z kz dou t by dou x plus q generation right q dot g which is equal to rho c dou t by dou tau okay this is my right this is a, a general equation of in cartesian coordinates okay now there i will, I will take the assumptions okay see if i assume the material is homogeneous isotropic then this term is here <coughs> i'll highlight this right see this term right this term if material i take a isotropic then this term see this equation you can use for any uh, without taking any assumptions okay without considering any assumptions you can use this equation but if you take the assumptions if the material is homogeneous and isotropic this is see this equation is my general okay general uh, heat conduction equation in cartesian coordinates now if i take the assumptions if the let let me uh, let let material let a material is material is homogeneous homogeneous and isotropic isotropic okay see if the material is homogeneous then in this case that is ks which is equal to k uh, kg which is equal to sorry k kx sorry kx direction y direction and this k in z direction which is equal to k so i will take it k as a common here so i will take the k common and write down the equation that is k in bracket okay dou t uh, dot is <coughs> dot t square by t divided by dou x square plus dou square t by dou y square plus dou square t by dou z this is dou z square right plus q generation qz which is equal to rho c oh sorry dou dou t dou t by dou 
uh, the tau right this is not the tau is for time right now see I, what I will do I will divide this k throughout the equation so finally I will get let me little bit change the color okay so the dou square tau okay by dou x square plus dou square t by dou y square plus dou t by dou z square right so if I divide this by k then this k will get cancelled and here I have to divide by k g by k okay which is equal to rho c by k and do t by do tau okay you understood i think up till now no any doubt this this is a very simple right so in this i am trying to explain in a very simple and simple manner right so this is what our the equation after considering the material as homogeneous and isotropic so let me i will put it in a so that okay now <coughs> now see here uh, what this term indicates this term that is rho c by k okay this is again the see though the density is again material property okay specific heat also material property and k is also material property so this whole term which is in uh, RHS side right that is rho c by k rho c by k right which is equal this is a material property material property okay see see the the, the rho c is a material property right this rho c by k so the ratio Protocol of material property. This is C. The reciprocal of this is reciprocal of thermal diffusivity. This is a reciprocal of thermal thermal diffusivity. Diffusivity. Right, and so the alpha alpha is also the material property. So the thermal diffusivity I'll call I'll leave it as alpha. So the I cannot call alpha as k by rho c. Okay. This is right. This is k by c is a okay. This is what we will get, right? Thermal diffusivity. So I what I'll do, I'll put in this equation that is alpha. That is, I'll put it here at 1 by alpha. Okay, and I'll rewrite that equation once again. So see here, do how that equation that is do t by do x square plus do square t by do y square plus do square t by do z square plus q dot g divided by k, which is equal to one by alpha, right? And do t by do tau. This I will get. You understood after putting this thermal diffusivity in this right and this equation is called this is the Fourier Bard equation okay let me change the color I'll take this is Fourier Fourier Bard Fourier Bard equation Okay, this equation is called Fourier Bard equations. Okay, uh, yeah, from the vector calculus, you know, right? Uh, from vector calculus, right? Vector calculus, you know, that is a del is a Laplacian, right? The del is a Laplacian operator. Laplacian operator. See uh, the thermo the thermodynamics and the fluid mechanics should be the basic subjects for the heat transfer, right? And in detail we have studied this Laplacian operator everything in the uh, our fluid mechanics course. So please watch all my what this del indicates here. So this is, this del 
uh, del indicate that is i do by do x plus j j do by do y right plus k do by do z right this is the uh, from the vector calculus right this del indicate so see here uh, in the x direction right I'll, uh, i how i can write this term uh, from this vector calculus right so the del square if i write then it will get squared here right the square the square of i is so please see here that is del square if i make the del square means del dot del then i will get the okay the i dot i that is i square del x du x square right so i i into i that is what one right i into j it will get so the final i'll get del square that is d2 x d2 square by dx square plus do square by do y square plus do square by do z square this thing i'll get so i can write that is del square t which is equal to right do square t by do x square plus do, do square t by dy square plus do square t by dz square right like this i can write because see since i right i dot i right which is equal to 1 and i dot j which is equal to 0 also i dot k which is also equal to 0 right so okay this this i will get so the, that fourier boyd's equation right i can write in short like this also okay in the vector in the vector form i can write this fourier boyd equation like that is del square right del square t plus Two generation divided by k equal to one by alpha dou t by dou tau. Right, like this I can write in short form. Right, so here see in the Fourier equation, okay, the the what the assumption is our the material is homogeneous and isotropic. That's why we have taken this k <coughs> common. Right, you understood now. <coughs> Now we'll see, okay, after looking this, just meet hot, the time is now, okay, it's 48 minutes, okay. <clears throat> now we'll see, see the case number one, okay. <clears throat> see, up till now, we have, the assumptions, we, what we have taken, that is, <clears throat> sorry. What we have taken that the only the material is homogeneous and isotropic that assumption we have considered right so in the case one so just made case one in the case one what we will do we will relaxing this uh, we will taking this assumptions now okay <clears throat> that is steady First, I will take that is a steady state heat transfer, steady state, and plus no internal heat generation, right? No internal heat generation. This assumption I will take. So if see if there is no internal heat generation, then this that is QG term will goes to zero. And if it is a steady state, then uh, <coughs> dou t right by dou tau which is equal to 0 so my this del square by t which is equal to 0 right and if this is a d2 tau by dx square plus d2 t by dy square plus d, d square t by dz square which is equal to 0 right so this is what my <clears throat> okay this equation is called laplace equation right laplace laplace equation 
okay this is our case one now <clears throat> Okay, see see how we will from the Fourier Biot equations, right? How we will reduce this? See, <coughs> see in the Fourier Biot equation, there is only one other assumption, so which is that that is material is homogeneous and isotropic. Now, in the lap, while coming to the Laplace equation, okay, we have two assumptions, which are those that is one is steady state, other is no internal heat generation. These two assumptions. Now, we will see the case two, okay, the case two, <coughs> put the heading that is. In the case two, see in the case two, okay. Again, we are taking steady state, steady state, plus steady state plus with internal, with internal heat generation, right? This internal heat generation we are taking. So the see if the if it is a steady state, then if steady state, then it will be. Uh, del square right del square uh, sorry not del square uh, do uh, do tau by uh, do t by do tau which is equal to zero if it is a steady state right Okay, dot t by dot t is equal to zero, right? So how I can write this? See, with internal heat generation, then and then how I can write this? Let me take this color. That is del square, right? Del square t plus q dot generation divided by k, which is equal to zero, right? So in expanded form, how I can write? That is d2 tau by dx square plus d2 t by dy square plus d2 do 2 t by d or do do means it's a partial integration partial sorry partial differentiation right so we call it as do it is z right z square plus q g right divided by k which is equal to zero and this is my this equation is right from this is called the poisson's 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 equation okay see the sec in the second case we are getting poisson's equation where we are uh, taking assumptions as a steady state with internal heat generation right the third now we will see the third right that is case number three case three see in the case number three we take unsteady heat transfer now unsteady plus no internal heat generation no internal heat, sorry internal heat generation right so so if there is a no internal heat generation then then this uh, the, the QG term right Q dot Q dot G which is equal to zero okay so how I can write this then again here see if this QG is zero then I can write del square uh, tau which is equal to one by alpha right do tau by uh, do t by do tau so again in exponent form how I can or or in exponent form I can write this as do square t by dx square plus do square t by dy square plus do square t by dz square which is equal to 1 by alpha all right do t by do tau ah, yes now we the, this is the our third equation right means this equation is called diffusion equation right see the diffusion term is here so similarly way you have to remember this equation diffusion equation okay all the three cases we have seen <coughs> right so any doubt up till now you understood how this
up till now see uh, the, we have not uh, see uh, in the in the in the next class what we will what we will do if there is a variation see in while deriving the fourier void equation we have taken the materials homogeneous and isotropic right that thing we have taken so this assumption so again we will take up in the next class that is effect of variable thermal if even the thermal conductivity means material is not homogeneous and isotropic means that case the material the thermal conductivity is not constant right it is again it is variable so what if there is a effect of thermal conductivity it is a variable then that thing we will discuss in the next class okay up till now there will not be any doubts okay in the today's class i tried to explain you uh, this cartesian coordinate conduction equation right uh, general coordinate equation how we'll come to the fourier void equation and how the assumptions relaxing the assumptions okay the from the one see in the case one what we will get in the case one we will get laplace equations where we are taking the assumption that is steady state plus no internal heat generation right so we will get the laplace equation that is uh, see that this Laplace equation we already studied in our uh, fluid mechanics course also, right? So you can correlate this, that thing, and here this thing also. That is del square t, okay, by t is equal to zero. Here the second, that is the steady state. Second case is steady state plus internal heat generation, right? So if steady state, then our um, right hand term RHS term will goes to zero, and the remaining terms which results in Poisson equations. And the third case, right, this is a diffusion equation. See, the alpha, what is, this is what the thermal diffusivity, right, uh, which is uh, equal to K by rho C, right, this is what the alpha. And here, no internal generation means this del square T, which is equal to 1 by alpha, uh, dot tau, uh, dot T by dot tau. This is a diffusion equation. Okay, guys, then I think up till now, you have no any doubts, you understood everything. Uh, even though you have any doubts please put in the comments i am i am always be ready to support you guys in order to crack the gate so be prepared well for the gate because see it is a gen it is not see this all thing you have to not keep in remember the gate is just checking your aptitude whether you are see i am here i have told you that is you just you have to pour it. it means the meaning of this del square tau is equal to zero what the exact the physical meaning of this that thing you are testing right that is what the aptitude you are uh, you are going to your aptitude will be going to examination in the uh, gate right so the it's a general aptitude they will not you see it doesn't mean you remember all these equations right but you should know the physical meaning of this what this del square to tau by do square tau by do x square what the physical meaning of this right and again i sum up summing up in all three directions again what this means and again it's i'm equating it to zero again this means what that the physical understanding inside you this should okay you should you should have this understanding so uh, so this is what in the gate examination you are going to uh, the, the examination will get going to test this thing with you right so <clears throat> so please uh, please well prepared for the gate okay i am always be with you if you have any doubts please ask uh, put in the comments and uh, uh, don't shy right so <clears throat> So I try to see if you have any suggestions, please welcome your all suggestions in my presentations. Okay. Anything if you want, okay, please put that thing also in comments so that I will also improve. Okay. In the both sides, right. Uh, I think there will not be any problems up till now. Okay. I'll try to explain you in better and changing the color, all the things. Okay. Improving the slides. Similarly, you have to take the different colors of paints while making the notes. So that what happened, you will get the good idea, right? <coughs> see, if you are using a single pen, okay, you will, your focus will not be, see, if there is an important topics, then you have to put it in a dark pen, like this, you have to follow. Okay, so that uh, if you read this once, then you will get this everything. Okay, this is what the, uh, the, the strategy I am talking you about the studying. Okay, guys, then... Uh, 
uh, if you have any doubts in this uh, please put in a comment and in the last again i would like to say you please don't forget to subscribe the channel hit the like button and share with your friends thank you and bye